Label mode is a significantly underrated feature in sports code. Now it's only for sports code elite, but what it is, it is allows you to add extra information to an instance through the use of labels. And what that is, and as an example, is essentially like if I've got basketball shots here, I can add extra information to an already created instance in the form of like shot type um, that I've got here or shot location. Another example in another sport would be rugby. If you've got lineouts and you want to add information for like the formation or who's triggering it, triggering it, or who's throwing it, or how many men are in a lineout. That's uh, that's another example, or any sort of position in sport where you want to label the position start and then the position end. Like in soccer, if you want a position start such as a throw and then the end is a goal. Um, I'm sure there's you know thousands of examples for each individual sport of what you could do for adding information to already created instances. Now, how you do that is you have your label window could just be any window with your labels in it it's important to have them in groups which is going to be useful for the uh, matrix later so here I've got shot type that can be changed in the group here and here I've got shot location you put your window into label mode there's five modes up here you've got to put into the middle one which is label mode come down to your timeline click the uh, click the row that you want to label and then press shift tab now it's going to take you to the first instance and it's going to play it. Now, once an instance gets to the end, if we wait a couple seconds here, what it's going to do is it's going to essentially just cycle back to the start of that instance. And it's not going to go into the next one until you press tab again. So tab, 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 and it's just going to cycle through those instances. You press shift tab to go back. We hold down shift and press tab to go back. Now, if we just click on, uh, if we just do an example on this instance, so it's a cut underneath the rim. And you, you know, just keep going along. What do we got here? That was a ball screen action, and that was also at the rim. Now, if you want to select multiple instances using label mode, you click, you know, one instance, click another using the command tab, and you press shift tab, and it's going to take you to the start, and when you press tab, it's just going to go to the next one between those two rows. Now if we just see what that looks like in the matrix, I did one, you know, here's a one I did earlier. You got all your shot locations here. How do I get that across? There it is. So for like Rams made three, I've got all my shot locations here. So I can see all my, you know, made threes in each one of these positions using the um, label group, which is shot location. And then I can see all my certain shots in a particular um, shot types. I want to watch all my catch and shoots in made three. I want to watch all my cuts in made two. I want to watch all my ball screens in made two and whatnot. Obviously you can create an output window to output this information but the matrix kind of does it for you here. So that's label mode. Um, I'm sure you can think of your own examples of how you, you, would, you would use this in your own sport but here's an example in basketball. Hope this, hope this was helpful. Thank you.